Hello, in this video we are going to take a look of how we can install Aptai Kuma via Docker on our VPS server. So we're going to use Qualify to install the tool. If you are not familiar with uh, Aptai Kuma or uh, Qualify, I will let the links into the description of this video that will explain you what Aptai Kuma is and uh, how you can install and uh, use Qualify. Qualify is an uh, the Roku or Netlify alternative that can help you deploy open source application easily. So I've written an article in here that uh, we're gonna follow. So first thing that we need to to have is to have a VPS where we have Qualify installed. I have uh, a video with uh, all these details that I will uh, let in the description to do that. So this is the Qualify that uh, we have. So this is the dashboard for Qualify and uh, what we need to, to do now is to see where we can uh, deploy the Aptai Kuma monitoring. So I have uh, a DNS in here in Cloudflare with a domain and uh, what I will do, I will need to create uh, a subdomain or you can point the entire domain to, to the Qualify server that you have. So this is the IP address for my website and what I need to do is to add a new record and I will add a subdomain for the monitoring tool and I'll put the IP address. I will not proxy it and I will hit save. So right now uh, the subdomain is pointing to the Qualify server and I can add the uh, Aptai Kuma to, to Qualify. Uh, you can put any name you want or if in case you want to point the full domain, you can just uh, do the same for the domain with the with the principal record in here. So this is a Qualify interface. So right now what we need to do is to create a new resource. We'll create a service like this. And in here you have multiple services that you can choose from. And in here you see that we have Uptime Kuma. I will click the Uptime Kuma. And this is a configuration interface. And in here you have the name. So I will put uh, Uptime Kuma as the name. In here you have the options to choose the version. I will choose the latest version. I will destination local Docker. And in here you need to put your uh, subdomain that you've created. So the SSL certificate to be generated. So I will put it like this. Type Kuma. Thursday.com. Okay, I will not generate for WW and non W. This is only if you think to use the full domain. I'm using a subdomain in this case. In here, you have the exposed port. If you want to put this on a port, I don't want to do that. I will hit save to save these configurations. Okay, now the configuration is saved. And in here, you have other options. If you want, for instance, you can add secrets. You have the persistence volume if you if you want so it will create a, a persistent volume for you so when this thing is ready redeployed to use the data that is in this volume so yeah these are the basic things that uh, qualify is offering so right now we go to configure and we need to hit deploy and what this thing will do it will start creating a container and the application for for us you see right now this thing has been created. You have also logs in here that you can check with the deployment. So you see in here, these are the deployment logs that they were just created. So right now, Qualify made everything for us. So if we go and, uh, for instance, go to the subdomain, we should be able to access it. And the first thing that we need to do is to create an account. You see here that we have multiple languages that we can choose from. I'll create a domain user and put the password I will hit create so right now I am in the interface and you can add any monitor in here if you if you want you can add the domain let me put something that I have in here just for test hit save okay friendly name it's just a test I don't have that subdomain you see in here right now uh, it has the domain added 
but this is not live, so that's why it's failed. I just wanted to show you how this thing is working. You have more details on the video that I've put in the description with this tool presentation, if you want to know more about it. So right now in Qualify in here, you can uh, redeploy it, you can stop it if you want. I'll just show you, for instance, if you, I've stopped this thing, if you deploy again, it will start deploying it and you will see here if we access it, you will still have the details, you have the domain that you have added. So in this way, you can easily deploy Aptai Kuma with Qualify on a VPS provider. In my case, I'm using Hesner for this. In the video with the Qualify install, you'll find everything you need to install Qualify and create a VPS provider. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and like.